Hello students, this is your instructor Abid Jan and I will talk about the dot plot. Sequence alignment. Sequence alignment is the procedure of comparing two or more sequences by searching for a series of individual characters or patrons that are in the same order in the sequences. There are two types of alignment, local and global. In global alignment, an attempt is made to align the entire sequences. If two sequences have approximately the same length and are quite similar they are suitable for the global alignment whereas local alignment concentrates on finding stretches of sequences with high level of matches the dot plot The most basic method of comparing two sequences is a visual approach known as dot plot. It is a graphical way of comparing two sequences in a two-dimensional matrix. In a dot matrix, two sequences to be compared are written in the horizontal and vertical axis of the matrix. The comparison is done by scanning each residue of one sequence for similarity with all residues in the other sequence. If a residue match is found, a dot is placed within the graph. Otherwise, the matrix positions are left blank. Consider two sequences. Sequence 1 and sequence 2. We proceed by creating a rectangular matrix in which the residues of sequence 1 are mapped along x-axis and those of sequence 2 along y-axis. Initially the matrix is blank. <laughs> Starting from the first character in sequence 1 which is M and moves on across page keeping in first row and placing a dot in many columns where the character in sequence 2 is the same for example M versus M so same there is a dot otherwise it is not same with a with L with W or with G with R with L. So the process is continued until all possible comparisons between sequence 1 and sequence 2 are made. Now as these two sequences are identical so we have dot in this pattern and if we join all these dots we will get a continuous diagonal line interpretation of dot matrices 
within a dot plot two identical sequences are characterized by a single unbroken diagonal line across the plot by contrast with identical sequences two similar sequences will be characterized by a broken diagonal the interrupted region indicating the location of the sequence mismatches a pair of distantly related sequences with fewer similarities has a much noisier plot in this case diagonal clusters of dot are observed parallel to the central diagonal line separated by a distance that represents the number of insertions required to bring the sequences into the correct register reverse diagonals crossing central diagonal indicates palindromes parallel diagonals represents repetitive origins reverse diagonals perpendicular to central diagonal indicates inversion this is within a dot plot two identical sequences are characterized by a single unbroken diagonal line this is diagonal and this is reverse diagonal reverse diagonal crossing the main diagonal indicate palindromic sequences parallel diagonals within the matrix represent repetitive origin of sequences so we have parallel diagonals and this is the main diagonal reverse diagonal perpendicular to the central diagonal indicates inversion uses of dot matrices can use dot we can use dot matrices to align two proteins or two nucleic acid sequences it can be used to find amino acid repeats within a protein by comparing a protein sequence to itself dot matrix analysis can also be used to find direct and inverted repeats within nucleotide sequences advantages fairly easy to implement easy to understand visually good overview of places for good alignment it shows all possible alignment of pairs it can be used in combination with other methods readily reveals the presence of insertions or deletions and direct and inverted repeats that are more difficult to find by other more automated methods disadvantages of using dot plot most dot matrix computer programs don't show an actual alignment does not return a score to indicate how optimal a given alignment is uh, in other words we can say that no statistical significant uh, significance that could be tested there is no statistical significance that could be tested using 
डॉट प्लॉट कीप कॉम स्टे क्यूरियस ऑल द बेस्ट अल्लाह हाफिज़